Hello everyone, in this short video I am going to show you how to create your first Reno project in FlexiSoft software. If you have the hardware, first you should check it is datasheet and then select your model from here. So in this video I have a FlexiLogic series space model FL004-0806N slash V2. The first part FL004 means the product and this part shows the model and this means the product series and before you create your first project you should read the instruction sheet of the model that you are going to use so now let's create our first project you can do that from here or you can go to the project and click on new from here select your product series that is the flexi logics and then select your product uh, which is fl004 and then select the model and the programming language is already selected and this is an international standard for programming logic controllers and this deals with basic software architecture and programming language of the control program within plc it defines three graphical and two textual programming language standards and I will show you each of them. Click OK. And if you click on project list, you will see the model that you recently created. Next to logic blocks, if you click on this plus sign, you will see different blocks. And all these program types are supported by the HMI unit. The blocks are just separators of the program and have no effect on the program execution. For better understanding and make it more easy, you can create your own blocks for different scenarios. In each program type and block, there is no limit of program capacity. The only limit is the total capacity. If you program the power of program, it is executed once at the start of the first scan. It means before the main program is executed. Therefore, this program can be used to set the initial value for the registers. And this is also called the initial program. Main program. If you work it on the other program languages, each of them has main block. And this is the core of the user program and it is executed once in each scan. Subroutine. Subroutine is a sequence of program instructions which is not an independent program. It is called from other program types like main program, intrap program and sub program. Timer interrupts. Timer interrupts enable you to run a task at a specific time interval with suspending other operation. Hardware interrupt. Hardware interrupt is a signal received by the program. It is executed immediately when the interrupt factor is generated. UDFB means the user defined function blocks and it associates a set of inputs, outputs, and internal data with a logic sequence. And by creating logic here, you can use it across different projects. Function block instance. Function block instance are only available for IEC applications, which is a reproduction copy of a function block. So for better understanding, let's create a simple logic in the main program. Here we have only one block. If you right click on the main, new logic block, a new program window will pop up. From here, you can rename it. Test. From here, you can select your programming languages. At the beginning, we discussed about 
the Open International IEC 611.31-3, which defines three graphical and two textual programming language standards, which are Ladder Diagram Logic, Function Block Diagram, uh, Structured Text, and Instruction List, and Sequential Function Chart. So let us create a Ladder Logic Diagram and select the execution style as main and click OK. And this is where we can create our first project using later logic diagram. Now let us insert a contact. Double click here and name. Let us name it B0. OK. And from here you can select the types. Here are different type. I'm going to keep it as Boolean. If you click here, uh, you can see test, global, and retain. If you select test, you can only use this variable in this block. And later, if you create more blocks, this variable will not be visible. And you have to declare it again. But if you use global variable, there is no need for declaration. And it is defined outside as well and is accessible to all functions throughout the program. Retain means restoring the values. It is uh, usable when giving values from HMI. And later we will discuss more about this. Uh, let us select global and yes. Name this one as output one. Type is bool and global variable. This is normally an open contact. It is directly connected to the output. If the input is high, the output is also high. And if the input is low, the output will be also low. And the output is directly affected by the input. It is very quite simple. Let us run it to see how it works. As you see, uh, it automatically open the block one program because first this is created. And to get rid of that, you can delete it. And then when you run your program, you will first see the test program. Here you can see that the output is directly affected by the input. Input is false and output is also false. If you make the input true, uh, then you can see that the output will be also true. So if you are a new programmer, uh, letter diagram is very easy to understand. Uh, it is actually really easy to troubleshoot. And I think that uh, could be very easy to figure out why it is not turn on or turn off. From here, you can change the item style. First, select the variable that you want to change. Then click on swap item style. Now it is changed from normally open contact to normally close contact. And this time the output is indirectly affected by the input. If input become low, output will be high and vice versa. Let us run it to see how it works. As you can see, uh, input is low, but output is high. And if we make the input true, Output will be false. We have also positive edge contact and negative edge contact. And we will talk about each of them in the next video. Thank you so much and see you soon.